Hi, boys and girls. Here we are with another OA passage to grade, and we're going to get started right away. It's a nonfiction passage called Stargazers, and before you do anything, go to the very front page of your passage and set yourself up a fraction. There we go with the fraction line, and I'm going to make a denominator for how many points possible there are. Let's see. What do we got here? Count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the four-pointer, eight, nine, ten, and then there's a two-pointer, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen points total, so thirteen becomes your denominator. Of course, we won't know our numerator until we know how many we got right. Take a look at the passage very quickly, just to familiarize yourself again. The title is Stargazers. Here's a picture of a telescope. And then we notice that it was a three-page passage this time, a front page a second page, and then there was a third page with a word bank at the bottom. And so you've already read that. So we're going to go past that to question 23. And here we go. Question 23, why does the sun look big? Choices, it's yellow so people can see it better, B, it's hotter than the other stars, or C, it is closer to Earth than the other stars. I found this answer at the end of the first page. I'm going to go back there. You flip to. It says right here, some stars are bigger, some are smaller. Most stars are very large. The sun is a yellow star. It is over a million times larger than our planet Earth. All the other stars in the night sky look tiny because they are so much farther away. So you have to draw the inference that the sun is closer and that's why it looks bigger. So, answer to that one is C. It is closer. Go to question 24. Choose the idea that completes the web. And if we look at the title of the web, it's a web about stargazers. And they give us two facts about stargazers. One, they are sometimes called astronomers. Two, they study the stars. What's the third fact that fits in here? A, do stargazers study the weather? No. B, do they use telescopes? We know they do, so that's a possibility. And C, do stargazers travel in space? No, they are not astronauts. So B, they use telescopes, is your answer here. Flip to question 25. How do stargazers measure a star's distance from Earth? Do they measure that distance in light years? in light feet or in light miles. And this one, you can go back and look, is right in the passage. It talks about stars being measured the distance in light years. So that's going to be A. When you look at 26, take a look right now. You can see how many points it's worth just by how many spaces there are for answers. There's a box right here, a box right here, a box right here, and a box right here. One, two, three four-point question. So what do we have to do here? Astronomers use tools to study the stars. The information in the readings, use the information in the reading selection to complete this astronomer's tools chart. So here's the astronomer's tool chart. What are we going to look for here? Over here we need to look for two astronomer's tools, one right here and one right here. And then next to each tool we're going to write why this tool is useful. There were two answers right in the passage that were in bold letters, that would be your very best choices for answers. Let's go back and look. <clears throat> They're both on the second page, so I'm going to flip and you flip back to the second page. And they're, they're practically shouting at me because they're in bold letters here. I see binoculars and I see telescopes. Those are both tools. Now look down at this last word, planetariums. Maybe you don't know what that word means, and you might think that's a tool, too. So let's read about it. It says, people can go to planetariums. Oh, that's a place. So that's not going to be a tool. I know that's not going to work. I'm going to cross that one off. Any other tools in here do they talk about? Hmm. There are binoculars. I like that one. Telescopes. I like that one. Nope, those are really my two best choices. So I'm going to flip back. And I'm going to get the first two points right off the bat. If you're a person who 
can't hold the spelling in your brain, go back and look. Go back and look and copy it. Maybe you don't have that kind of vision brain and you need to look as you type, as you write. Okay, so we've got binoculars and telescopes. So far I have two points. Now I want this point and this point. So why is this tool useful? I'm going to make this really easy and get my information right from the passage so I know it's right. So go back and look for binoculars. Why is this tool useful? Go back. I'm going to go right to the word binoculars and I'm going to read the words around it. Some stargazers use a pair of binoculars to get a better look at a star or small group of stars. I'm using that. How is it used to get a better look at a star? Boom. Why is the tool useful? To get a better look at stars. Again, if you're not a visual brain, you probably are going to want to go back and put that page, set that page up so that you can see it while you write here so that you make sure you get each word in your answer. That way you definitely get the points. So how many do I have now? One, two, three. I need one more. Okay, why are telescopes useful? Go back. Hmm. Other stargazers and astronomers gaze through telescopes. They are able to see some stars clearer and also other stars that are too far away to be seen with eyes alone. I could use that. See some stars clearer and other stars that are too far away. That's a lot though and it's not very clear. I'm going to keep reading to see if there's something better. Some telescopes are huge. They are in observatories where astronomers study the skies. And that doesn't really answer how are they used or why are they used or why are they useful. Let's see this. Most telescopes can take pictures that the astronomers can study later. I like that one the best. They take pictures that astronomers can study later. I'm going to use that one. Could you have used one of these? See stars clearer? Sure. But this one works best for me. Take pictures that the astronomers can study later. So why is this tool useful? It takes pictures that astronomers can use later. One, two, three, four. I got four and I'm going to circle it. That's a four point answer. You might want to double check with your teacher on this one to make sure that you're scoring it correctly. Your teacher may have already scored it for you. Okay, go on to 27. An important idea from the reading selection is that stars are very far away from Earth. Which detail supports that idea? So you need the detail down here that goes with this. The part about stars are far from Earth. So what goes with that? Stars are far from Earth. Would it be A, the distance between the stars and Earth is measured in light years? Does that work with stars are far from Earth? Yes because they're measured in light years. I like that one, but I'm not going to mark it yet because I want to see if there's a better one. B, stars look bright and twinkle because of Earth's atmosphere. Does that tell me about the fact that stars are far away from the Earth? No, that's about them looking bright and twinkly. Nope, that one doesn't work. It's a dud. C, the sun is more than a million times larger than the Earth. Does that talk about the distance and how far it is from Earth? Not at all. Another dud. So this is my beauty, 27A. 28, where can you find the definition of binoculars? This one is so easy, it's hard. Where do you always find definitions when there's not a dictionary? In the chapter heading? No. In the word bank? Of course. Or in the selection? It might be in the selection, but your best answer here is the word bank always for the meaning of words. Good. 29. This paragraph is from the selection. Stars look like they twinkle, too. This is because of the air around the Earth, called the atmosphere. As starlight travels through the atmosphere, it makes some stars look like they are twinkling. Which question does this paragraph answer? Oh, I get it. This is the answer. Here are the three possible questions. So sometimes you might want to read this to yourself again, because when you were reading it, you didn't know it was an answer. So now we know. That's an answer, a paragraph about stars twinkling. So, does it answer why do astronomers study stars? Did it tell me why? 
Not at all. There's a dud. Did it tell me what starlight is? Nope, it wasn't talking about what starlight is. It was talking about why they twinkle. Or does it tell me, see, why do stars twinkle? I like that one. Go back up and double check. Stars look like they twinkle because of the air around Earth. There's my why. Boom. Love it. Okay. Two-pointer. And remember, guys, if you're a large writer, this is a real challenge for you because anything that you write outside of the box on the real OAA test doesn't get counted, which is really very picky. So you're going to have to be careful about this. All right, we've got a star chart worth two points. One, two, and we're looking at the colors of stars. So before I do anything, I'm going to flip back and see where that is in the passage because I don't know. I'm skimming. Oh, here, they, here it is. At the top of the second page, some stars look brighter. Also, stars are different colors. Some look red, some are yellow, and others white. The cooler stars are red. Boom. Go back. Red is my first star, and I have to tell the temperature. It told me the cooler stars are red, so I'm going to put that right here, and there's a point. Okay, and then some color of stars are warmer, and the bluish white ones are the hottest. I'm going back to the second page. I said the cooler stars are red, the warmer stars are yellow, bingo, and the hotter stars are bluish white. The yellow stars are the warmer ones, and there's two points for me. And then finally, this sentence is from the selection. Other stargazers and astronomers gaze through telescopes. What does the word gaze mean? Does it mean they study through telescopes, they count through telescopes, or they look through telescopes? Did you see how I plugged each word in in the place of gaze to make sure it made sense? And when I plug it in, the only one that really works is look through telescopes because stargazers do study, but they don't study through telescope, so that doesn't work. Count is, is a dud, and look is my best choice. All right, I'm ready to get my fraction. So let's count. I know that on this one, this one's the key, and so I know that I got them all correct because this one has, I have the key here. So let's count it up. We know we got one, two, three, because that was a two-pointer, four, five, six, on the page. 6 plus 4 is 10, 11, 12, 13. I go back to the front. I put my numerator on. Yeehaw! I got a 13 out of 13. What do you need to pass this? You need 68%. And I'm not sure what how many um, points that is. I would have to use a calculator to figure that but I'm going to guess it's about, I'm going to guess if you get 9 out of 13, you've passed. But once you get your fraction, go check with your teacher and she can help you figure that calculation. Nice work.